This is Dr. Mariah White, host of Your Life Matters. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. This is Jessica Hammer, co-host of Crowned and Dangerous here on Public House Media. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Once you are done with this episode, I hope you'll come check out my show, Crowned and Dangerous, where Maddie and I talk about all things pageant-related, especially our experiences in the Miss America organization. A new show comes out bi-weekly, every other Thursday. Don't forget to subscribe on iTunes so you never miss an episode of Crowned and Dangerous. Thanks again for checking out the following broadcast on Public House Media. In the process of letting go, you will lose many things from the past, but you will find yourself. Good morning. Welcome to Choose to Rise, where today we're going to be talking about letting things go. In the process of letting go, you will lose many things but from the past, but you will find yourself. I love that quote. And today we're going to be talking about all the things that you can let go of your life, all the things that you should be letting go of, because if you are holding on to the things that are from your past or that are bringing you pain, you're not going to be able to find the things that are going to fill you up and make you whole again. When you let go, something magical happens and you give God room to work and to, for him to fill up you, fill you up with amazing things. And today when you are listening in, I hope that you're thinking, making a mental list of the things that you're going to let go of. I hope that you're making a list of the things that um, you're going to just release because when you can separate the things from your past that are holding you down, you're going to make yourself lighter. You're going to make, give yourself room in your body to take in the good things of your life. So if you want to, I hope you're enjoying today so far and that when you're ready to um, learn more about me or you want to catch up on past episodes, you can head over to choose to rise up.com and click on the podcast tab there and find more episodes. You can also head over to choose to rise up um, on Facebook and connect with me there and be a part of the community. I would love to see you there. All right, let's talk about things to let go of right now. Number one, the first and foremost thing you need to let go of is worrying. Worrying about what's happened in the past, worrying about what other people think of you, worrying about the things that you can't change. Worry, worry, worry. Worry gets you nowhere. In fact, worry is probably one of the most wasted emotions that we could probably have because it literally does nothing for us. It just creates more negative energy in our heart. It creates negative energy in our in our body and it just makes us think about things that we really have no control over. Worrying about something is really kind of throwing a negative energy out to something that might happen. Worrying about something that could maybe impact you. Worrying about what's happened in the past you can't change anything that's happened in the past. So why think about it? Why focus on it? Why create your future based on what was happened in the past when you can't do anything about it anyway? Worrying about what others think of you is none of your business. (laughs) Their thoughts and opinions have nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with their perception and their reality and their thoughts and emotions. You are a completely unique individual and so worrying about what somebody else thinks is like comparing... uh, on a red paint to purple grapes. <laughs> it's just nothing to do with each other, right? And so stop worrying about what other people think of you. The other thing is worrying about things you can't change. If you don't have control over it, then there's really no time, no necessary to t- put time and energy into thinking about it. Like I, off someone asked me the other day, like what's in the weather forecast? And I was like, I, honestly, I don't know. I've stopped really watching the weather because it's going to happen regardless. And you know, nine times out of 10, the meteorologist isn't right anyway. <laughs> so why focus on it? Why worry about it? The second thing that I want want you to let go of right now is the idea of a perfect life. There is no such thing as a perfect life. In fact, there's no such thing as really anything perfect. Now, my daughter would disagree a little bit, and she would say that God made us all perfect individuals, and she is absolutely right. You are perfect in his eyes. You are perfect in the sense that he created you as a unique individual, but understanding that we're all broken, that we're all sinful, that we all are here on this earth to live out the the perfect path that he has for us, but we're not perfect people. We're broken individuals that happen in the Garden of Eden. But when we can strive to be our best and we can let go of the things of our past that are holding us back, we can start to walk in the in the purpose that he's created for us. That's when things get a little bit more perfect in life. 
Another thing to let go of is the fear of the unknown. This kind of goes a little bit about the worrying about things that you can't change, but fearing the things that we just don't know. We, if we don't know, uh, fear is often false evidence appearing real. If we don't know what's going to happen, that can lead to some that's kind of build up and some of that worry again. But when you can really focus in on being uh, accepting, being amazing, being, you know, taking things on as a challenge to do something good, thinking about the possibilities and the opportunities versus the things that could probably go wrong. Those that's when you're going to have the most fun. It's when you're going to have the most grace. It's when you're going to have the, the best life is when you can focus on the good things. And something else you can stop doing right now is going small when you can go big. When you go small on things, you are limiting your potential. You're limiting the, the amazing things that God's given you in your life. When you play small, you live a small life. When you go big and, or go home kind of situation, you are, you're, you're taking it out there. You're putting out there. You're more, more have more opportunity to really accomplish something huge when you go big. I am, you know, they always say like with a lottery, like you can't win unless you play. Um, well, they also say, um, you know, you to be mindful of your money, but if you are being pot, if you are being, um, playing small with your life, with your potential, like you, you get a job and you stay there because it's comfortable. You stay there because it, it makes money. You stay there because, you know, you, it's, it's a safe thing. Um, I would also say, go big, make some risks, make unrealistic expectations. Sometimes you have to dream big dreams in order to go big places. I would also say the next thing you need to let go of is a negative body image. When we hold ourselves back, with insecurities, with um, feeling the failure, with uh, thinking of ourselves as imperfect individuals, and we have um, our physical health is lacking because we are are worried about what other people think of us, or we are just not taking care of the one and only body that our God gave us. Um, we think negatively about our self image. That really tears apart a lot of areas in our life. So, um, in my my role of life, um, I'm a health and happiness coach, and when I focus in on the things that I, one of the things that I've had to really struggle with and really overcome is a negative body image. And right now we're about to go um, in the time of this recording, I'm about to go on a cruise here in a couple of weeks. And a lot of those kind of past emotions are coming up. I'm going to spend a lot of time in a bikini. I'm going to be on a boat. I'm going to be on a beach. Um, do I take the cover up? Do I not take the cover up? What kind of suit do I wear? How do I want to get my nutrition in order? Again, worrying about the things that I can't necessarily change in some respect, caring about what other people think, it's bringing a lot of negative attention to myself and I'm not a super fan of it. So I'm working really hard on getting rid of my insecurities, on focusing on a positive body image. I'm being super proud of the things that I'm able to do with my body. I'm cleaning up my nutrition. I'm taking care of my self physically. I'm really working on um, improving my mindset and just enjoying the moment and enjoying the, the life that I have. The last thing that I want you to really focus in on is trying to get rid of, at least in your life, is trying to make everyone happy. It's just not possible, right? The grass is not always greener on the other side. You're not always going to make everyone happy in life, and you're not intended to make everyone happy in life. Happy in life. Your job is to make you happy in life, your God happy in life. And when you tap into the things that he has for you, and you um, are focused in on the things that that God wants you to accomplish, you are going to be able to make not only yourself happy by finding the things that bring you great joy, but in spending the time and the things that he's created you with, he's given you the strengths to do, but you're also going to, um, you know, just bring more joy to other people because when you're around happy people, you are happier person in general. So anything that doesn't make you happy, let go of anything that, um, especially trying to make other people happy because you're just going to fail when you are, are focused on, on yourself and making yourself happy and spreading more positivity to other people. That's when everyone wins. So, um, you know, understand that it's not your responsibility. It's not your um, requirement. It's not your uh, job to make anyone else happy. It's their job to make themselves happy. And so, yes, do kind things, be present in people's lives, um, encourage other people, be supportive and those kinds of things. But if they um, are, are looking to you for their happiness, there's something else wrong inside of them besides um, the, the, something that you can fix. So be around people that are are positive, are uplifting, uh, where you can uh, really support and encourage and be a part of their positivity. Um, let go of the things that don't make you happy. Let go of the things of trying to make other people happy. Go big instead of going small, making sure that you are letting go of all the worry and making sure that you are just living your life to the absolute best because God wants you to make sure that you are living well. He wants you to 
you know, let go of the things that were going to be a part of our past, let go of the things that are holding us back. So he, you can t- like empty out the things that of, of fear and, and doubt and shame and all of those things and start filling your heart and mind with the good things that are there for you. When you let go, something magical happens because you can give God the room he needs to, to work in your life. You can focus on the things that are going to bring you joy. You can focus on the things that are going to bring you happiness. You can focus on the strengths that he's given you to go out and bless this broken world. So if that's something that you love today, if you um, if there's something that in this podcast that you enjoyed and you want to be more a part of, please head over to choose rise up.com and check us out there as well as um, make sure you hit like and share and spread the word um, of public cause media um, with us today. Thanks so much for being on with us live ladies. I love all the comments. Thank you so much. Um, Noelle and Beth and Carla and uh, Sarah, thank you so much for being here. Um, and uh, yeah, come back again this next week where we're talking more and more about lifting up positivity and letting go of the things that you can live your best life. So thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a great rest of your day.